Hello, it's Ruby and thank you so much for clicking on this video, I suppose. Today's video is a rather typical Sunday in my life at home. I started the day by making this PowerPoint on sonnets um, for a lesson I was giving the following week and I also made a PowerPoint on The Go-Between by L.P. Hartley, which by the way is an excellent book which you should definitely read and I made a Pinterest board kind of vision board as part of this because the aesthetic of this book is also wonderful and I just wanted to kind of showcase it through images and of, as I was doing that of course I had to add some other L.P. Hartley books to my TBR. Next I did some writing, so I'm currently working on a book. I recently finished my second draft and sent it to my agent, but I still just can't help tinkering around with it and changing bits and just hopefully making it better and not worse. smells so good today. I don't know what it is exactly but it just smells amazing. Now my plan was to go and work in a cafe for a little bit and this is me slowly realising that that was not going to happen so instead I headed back but it was nice to get some fresh air I suppose though it was slightly disappointing. Slight change of plan. I was gonna go to a cafe to write a blog post. I'm not gonna do that because I got there and it had slipped my mind that it's a Sunday and like midday. It was completely packed and everyone had booked ahead. I wasn't able to go in. Um, so instead I am just going to stay here and write up a blog post. But I was going to say when I do go and work outside of the house, when I work at a cafe or like in a library or something. I like to change my VPN address because it just helps to keep your data more secure when you're using public Wi-Fi networks. The VPN server I use is NordVPN, um, who are sponsoring today's video. You've probably heard me talk about them before. NordVPN is the fastest VPN server you can use. It's so easy, you basically have this map and then you just click on whichever country you want to change to. So here I just quickly change to Finland. You can get it either on your desktop or as an app, then you can just change your location to anywhere in the world. And if you've been looking for a VPN service and you've been wanting to try one, you can use my link nordvpn.com forward slash ruby to get an exclusive deal on the two year plan. And they also offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not sure about it or you change your mind, that's just quite nice to know. Um, so the link will be down below in the description and I'm now going to write this blog post. I think I'm just gonna write it on my iPad outside as well because I've been in my room all morning and it is actually starting to get quite hot. I changed into trousers to go to this cafe. I felt like it was cold when I went outside, but totally ended up regretting that, so I've got back into the skirt I was in before. Here, by the way, I'm writing a letter which is for a blog post. Some of my blog posts are typed and others are handwritten scanned letters, like this one. So then I just listed those two blog posts I've been working on this afternoon. This is the website which I have recently created. I'm just going to give some context for what I'm working on because I'm just about to click for it to go live. This is something I've just really wanted to do for a while. I've created a website and I want to use it to share writing and particularly letters. It's just rubygranger.com. On that as well I am going to list these. It's just seven poems. It's called Helium Balloons. It's like a zine, which is fun, and I've always wanted to make a zine. 
So these are them. They arrived yesterday. It's a very small collection as you can see. This is all of them. I think more than anything it's getting over a little bit of a barrier and a resistance barrier because there can be so much stress and nerves around sharing work and sharing writing and I definitely get really nervous whenever I share something. Um, so I'm terrified to start sharing my work like on a separate website but also I love writing and I write for myself yes but also I like the idea of writing for other people. I'm very nervous, um, I'm very apprehensive about sharing. So basically, um, I'm, I've got loads of envelopes. I'll just address these and send these out. I've ordered some like beautiful stamps as well. They're like bird limited edition stamps. And so I'm gonna use those for posting them out. I just love a good fun collector's stamps. Also, I got this printed at the same time. You might know that I kept a nature journal during spring. I really wanna start one for summer as well because it was so much fun scanned in the nature journal and i'm gonna send this one to my grandparents i've actually had so many people asking to like see the nature journal and asking if i'll share it and i'm planning actually on putting up like a slightly reduced version of the nature journal like not with everything that was in my actual one it's just a little passion project there's my little fun nerve-wracking announcement i'm just gonna do some final bits for the website and then press for it to go live It's three o'clock and I'm just feeling so tired. I might go on a run and then have a cold shower when I get back because I always feel so good after I do that. I literally wrote myself such long to do this for today. You know some days you wake up and you're just not feeling your most energetic, your most motivated and I was feeling really motivated yesterday and so I kind of wrote a to-do list which reflected the mood I was in yesterday but that wasn't my mood for today. So I guess this is just to say that motivation fluctuates and that it's okay if your to-do list has to change in order to meet your motivation level. Like sometimes you'll be able to add things to your to-do list but other times you have to take them away and that's okay both ways. I am going to go through my to-do list and cull some things which I can do next week instead. I personally really love going on like 20 to 30 minute runs. This feels like the optimal length for me and I always feel so good after it. So first I'm just gonna quickly plan my YouTube content for the next week. What days I'm filming, what days I'm uploading. So I spent about 20 minutes doing that and then I moved on to doing some travel planning for the summer. Just on Airbnb right at the moment. And after that I did some cleaning. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright so much better now that I've cleaned it. I procrastinated doing it so much. I was going to do it this morning before 8am but I slept until like 7.30 this morning because I got a really bad night's sleep last night. But I've cleaned it now and it feels so good. Two things. First, I have got these glasses. When I modelled for Miss Patina, I wore these glasses. Holly, who is the owner of Miss Patina, really kindly sent them to me. I'm going to send them to this company called Lensology, who will fit old frames with your prescription. I need to take this off though. How cool is this glasses chain? I mean, I know that they're meant more for reading glasses. Like, still, I think they look cool, even if they're actually not very practical for me personally. Other thing is this, Sparrow's Nest Ceramic. I bought two of their mugs, but my dad accidentally smashed one of them and bless him, he ordered a replacement, which is so kind of him. I'm really excited to open this up. How beautiful. So um, she doesn't actually sell the exact design. 
Um, look how cute. Her mugs are so beautiful. I love how each of them is totally unique. And I think I'm just going to hang this star here. Next here I was doing some planning for an assembly which I've got coming up, so I wrote up the script and also planned for a meeting I had the next day. Just finished that assembly plan. My last big task of the day was to edit my video on Victorian band books. The video is not finished, but it's nine o'clock and I don't really want to edit anymore, so I'll finish it tomorrow instead. And then I went downstairs to get another cup of tea and also outside was looking beautiful. It just felt so autumnal. And then I quickly wrote a video script for a short form piece of content I'm making. Then, oh my goodness, my room was feeling so cosy. It was still really dreary and rainy and again, it felt like autumn. So I put on some candles and watched Atonement and that was the end of my Sunday. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring today's video and I hope that you have more than just a productive week.